Eclipse OTG with the uh, HP Stream 7. But right now this is just acting like as a USB. Come in here and type in battery with the keyboard. Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how you can use your HP Stream 7 as a, basically a full featured desktop PC. Um, of course you're going to have the limitation of the one gig of RAM, but let's go over this setup because this is a truly awesome uh, setup that we have set up here. So uh, bear with me as we move the camera a little bit. We try to get all this in the frame and then I'm going to pan out to the actual monitor uh, that the Stream 7 is actually streaming to right now and uh, take a look at this, uh, this setup. So first we'll start with the Stream 7 itself. Pay no attention to the dock it's in, it's just a game loft dock for an iPad or whatever, but it works for this so I can get this into the view. <clears throat> so we have the Stream 7, your full featured Windows 8.1 tablet for $99 from HP. Did a video on it, check that out if you want more information about it. Cool, very full featured tablet. <clears throat> it has a micro USB to micro USB cable running into pluggables um, Pro 8 docking station. Separate video on this. If you want more information on the dock, check out my previous video on that. This allows us to do some really cool stuff. <clears throat> okay, so on the back of this, I have from top to bottom, there are two USB ports up here, but I don't have anything in them right now. Uh, I have a wired ethernet. So currently this stream tablet that's only meant for Wi-Fi is wired. That's right, we're getting wired speeds out of the stream tablet. Awesome. <clears throat> then I have a DVI to HDMI adapter and then an HDMI to DVI to the back of the monitor because this is not a HDMI um, monitor so I've got kind of an adapter in the middle of each one. The cable is producing, producing the adapter on one and then an adapter on the back of this. Then I actually have the cable going into the Stream 7 into the dock and then the power for the dock itself that's what we have on the back. Now, this is what's really cool about this and we'll show you when we get to the screen. Normally with these tablets you can't use peripherals, mouse, keyboard, anything unless you're not charging. So I would take a, a, a mouse, plug it into here, I'd be using its charge dock to power whatever the mouse, whatever the keyboard, and this is not charging. So you're limited. As soon as this runs out of juice, you're done. With this setup, I'm charging this, this, this tablet at the exact same time I'm using all these peripherals. Problem solved. Very cool. <clears throat> now, let's go on to the front of the dock. I actually have a IR mouse. This is just a USB powering this Logitech mouse over here. And then some more coolness here. I have a USB, and this is an OTG. This is going to be another separate video that you'll have to check out. How to use OTG with the uh, HP Stream 7, but right now this is just acting like as a USB um, hub basically. So I have a hub here. This is a Inatech OTG USB hub, <clears throat> and I have three USB devices plugged into it. These are just thumb drives, so extra storage basically. So got that going on. And then we have an HP Bluetooth keyboard, which I actually have paired with the HP Stream 7. This Logitech uh, IR here could do a keyboard. I do have a keyboard for it, but right now I'm just going to show you the power of this and have a Bluetooth keyboard also in the equation synced up to my HP Stream 7. Okay, wow, okay, we got all that all the picture. A lot of stuff to set up, but once it is, this is awesome. Okay, so you come home, you've used this as a tablet all day, you plop it down, you plug it in, boom, now it's a desktop computer. Now I'm gonna Pardon the scrolling here, but we're going to pan up to the actual monitor. There we go. And let's go ahead and zoom in. Alright, so I'm going to show you a few things. This is our wired speed test that I just ran. And you can see we got 48.49 megabits per second down and 5.49 up with a 24 mega millisecond ping rate. That is really good speeds for a tablet that is only meant to be on Wi Fi. Okay? So. Just wanted to show that. The next thing I want to show, just to verify, is now you can see we have a mouse. I can find it in the screen here and from behind the camera. Oh, there we go. So we'll click here. The network connections. You can see Bluetooth, 
I can actually use Bluetooth to get network, but I don't have that. I just have a keyboard plugged in. This is Ethernet 2. That's right, guys. An HP Stream 7 with Ethernet. You've seen it here. This is our wired connection. I actually have disabled Wi-Fi because I don't want any kind of like uh, conflict going on between the two. So I've disabled the Wi-Fi. Then you can come back in here and disable the Ethernet and re-enable the Wi-Fi, and then you're back on Wi-Fi. So uh, and you'll probably want to do that before you um, gank and yank this out because you'll go out and you'll be like, why am I not getting internet? Oh yeah, I disabled my Wi-Fi. Um, but you know, you can leave them both enabled and then it will select, more than likely it'll be Wi-Fi uh, because it's what it's gonna be on when you come in and you you plug it in. So more than likely if you left them both, it's always gonna be Wi-Fi. But uh, I forced the ethernet. So we get good speeds there. Now, another thing I wanted to demonstrate here is I'm gonna bring up the battery. And hopefully you can see this if I bring this up. Uh, let's see. Hopefully. It's actually charging as we are using all these peripherals. And I guess maybe the best way to do it is to just come in here and type in battery with the keyboard. Show and hide battery status. Uh, Power options. Well, I swear I seen it here where it was actually saying it was charging when I clicked on it. It does say 97% remaining, but it is actually charging uh, uh, as we type this all out. So, um, which is really really cool. And for some reason now Windows does not bring up the exact same screen that I had up earlier where I could actually demonstrate that it was plugged in and charging and uh, of course it's got to be difficult windows but uh, we can actually charge at the exact same time we we're using this and maybe nah, this isn't going to show me anything so anyway guys we are charging while we're using this so that is one really neat feature that this actually has is we are charging and using peripherals so Anyway, now, we wanted to go on about like the storage, so what we've actually done is use the little USB file, or USB hub, and now as you can see, and I'll, I'll enlarge this here, I have multiple drives, so you actually do have, uh, this is the default C drive that it comes with, and I, you know, it says it's 32 gigs of, uh, of uh, space, well in essence you get 23.5. Uh, is what it sees and uh, I've only got 19.2 gig free and this is out of the box I've installed nothing but maybe a driver or two here and there so you've got about 20 gig to deal with out of the box when it says 32 um, now it does show a CD drive removable disk recovery uh, removable disk and uh, obviously I have an Ubuntu netbook uh, installer in one of my drives so if I go ahead and click on removable disk E I actually have a directory of what's on my USB stick and uh, if I wanted to come into maybe removable disk G uh, and it says that's not there let's see what's on this one uh, Android boot so you know got some uh, files that you can uh, dink with out here I've got a OneDrive um, which is just really cool stuff and uh, I kind of sworn that this F drive had some media on it but maybe not I'm not seeing it, so I'm seeing some install stuff, but that's about it. And yep, that looks like about it. If I double click that, we're going to install Ubuntu, so we better not touch that. Uh, so, anyway, you know, a, a demonstration here of you can have multiple file systems attached, like I've got three USB drives attached, um, and it actually sees. Uh, on my network, yeah, I've got a Plex Media server and a Synology NAS, so you can actually see I can access my disk, disk station right here and uh, access my personal media on my network as well. So very, very cool stuff um, that you can do with this HP Stream 7. Again, this is almost like a full-featured desktop. We're going to go ahead and pan back down to the setup here. And the whole time I was moving around, I was actually just using that mouse and this keyboard. Uh, and then like I said, when you're done, you unplug this and you go with it.
you're back to being a tablet. And if you want, you can take the keyboard with you. This is Bluetooth and still use it like this. Um, it's going to be tough though without a dock. Um, so I do have to probably find some kind of little carry case that acts as like a prop or a kickstand and a dock and uh, maybe a smaller Bluetooth keyboard. Um, I don't know if they make even uh, a combination case yet for uh, the Stream 7 with a keyboard that's Bluetooth and a carry case all in one. I don't know if they do, I'm going to be looking for one and I will try to review that as well. So <clears throat> anyway guys, and I'm going to do another video too just to show you using this OTG from Inatech, uh, just straight OTG with this um, for multiple uh, storage devices at one time. But this is probably the coolest use of a Pro 8 docking station and an HP Stream 7 that you could get. There's probably not very many other ways, if any, to use this device like a desktop. This is probably one of the few because you always run into that problem of I can't charge my device at the exact same time I'm using all these accessories. So this is a great combination and this works really, really well. So anyway guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, a subscription to the channel, and as always guys, thanks for watching. Check the show notes for anything information-wise and link-wise that I have in this video. You'll find all it all right there. And as always, have a good one.